Bugün dersimizde Cambridge 11 test 1 section 4 analizini korup çıkamız ve bu kısımda uzun korup çıkamız section 4 question 31 to 40 fakat yine one word only bir de sosyal açımız mümkün ve bu kısımda ocean biodiversity hakkında biodiversity hotspot areas containing many different species important for locating targets for nimana uçundur targetlerini anıqlaştır cüdeyim okumakken at first only identified on land boris worm 2005 liza balance 2007 sense of marine life Kısası şu nasıl hakkında itibar, itibarlı bir oluşumuz gerek. Ve identified hotspots for large ocean predators like sharks found ocean hotspots were not always rich in. Demek bu kısımda hotspotlarının not uh, rich in. Ne kadar da rich bulma yanıyım top yanıyken. Had higher temperatures at the, kaya odadır at the bottom, at the top, at the uh, surface. Mesela şu nokta temperature, kaya odadır kaysızlar kısmı da, lakatsa da, joyda. Uh, yukarı temperatura borligen korgen eken has sufficient something in the water nimi uh, suda qana qadar yetarlicha sufficient yetarlicha nima qadar bo'lgan ekan o'shani topishimiz kerak bo'ladi looked for hotspot for marine something topib bilmayman found this are all located where oceans current meet since i found new ocean species living under the demi o'qsunda ocean species lar topib qayo odalar yashaydi ekan under the nimani under the rocks under the I don't know. Kayoda nimandir tegida near volcanoes so nimandir tegida yashashini under the land islands bilmayman ko'ramiz. Global marine species assessment was listed as ocean species population size geographical distribution and rate of something nimandir darajasi. Aim assess two certain species and make a distribution something for each one. Nimandir distribution nimandir map bo'lishi mumkin. Yasashar yasashar kerak. Recommendation for to retain ocean biodiversity. Increase the number of ocean reserves, establish some kind of corridors for turtles. Wave corridors, migration corridor bo'lishi mumkin. Qaranglar, masalan, nima qilish mumkin? Koridor qanaqa koridor? Migratsiya qilish, ya'ni koridor bo'lishi ehtimol katta, chunki bu haqida reading ni o'qiganim qanaqadir bo'g'ila koridor orqali o'tishini. Reduce fishing quotas. Demek bu kısımda özden görüyorum. Eğer koridor bu kadar yanmasa bu çoğu vahşi zor bu kadar. İmana uh, background knowledge'ın, background informasyon mange umumi uh, cevabını topştuğu oradan bergen bu kadar. Üçünün üçünün uh, fakat kendine listen yemez. Umumi çıkartta malumatlarını alışke ve uh, özden yedin bilimlerini açırışke uh, etibar verip hareket etseyle yıkırtıdan kırtı aş ihtimali üçünün kattı. Catch fish only for the purpose of demek fakat kendine maksatta eating maybe. Uh, consuming maybe. Fakat ki ne? O şu maksatta uh, catch kılış, yani lo- lovely fish kılış, o şu lovely rib kılış. Koramız bunu. Tabii tabii şey hareket kılamız. Yani rain o zgeri trolamız. Aljonu işçik ve sağlık için cevaplarını bir işçik hareket kılamız. Telefon alamanda aljonu tutamam. Variety of different species that live in the world's oceans. First. You have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. I've been at the idea ocean biodiversity that and answer questions 31 to 40. I've been looking at ocean biodiversity, that's the diversity of species that live in the world's oceans. About 20 years ago, biologists developed the idea of what they called biodiversity hotspots. These are the areas which have the greatest mixture of species. So one example is Madagascar. These hotspots are significant because they allow us to locate key areas for focusing efforts at conservation. Biology. Focusing efforts are of, at conservation. The key areas are the locating targets the, uh, for uh, works of conservation. Job conservation. Bolada. Conservation is the uh, target of the conservation. The job conservation. These hotspots are. Oh, come on. These hotspots are significant because important synonym because they allow us to locate keywords. Locate keywords keyword of the focusing efforts on at conservation ball the job. Scientists can identify hotspots on land fairly easily. But until recently, very little was known about species distribution and diversity in the oceans, and no one even knew if hotspots existed there. Then a Canadian biologist called Boris Worm did some research in 2005 on data on ocean species that he got from the fishing industry. 
Worm located five hotspots for large ocean predators, like sharks, and looked at what they had in common. The main thing he'd expected to find was that they had very high concentrations of food, but to his surprise, that was only true for four of the hotspots. Food concentration of food was going to food like concentration of food like rich food like food like expect like food like food like food like food like food like food The main thing he had expected to find was that they had very high concentration of food, but to his surprise, it was only true for four of the hotspots. Remaining hotspots were quite badly off in this regard, but food, the job, were not always rich in food. The remaining hotspot was quite badly off in that regard, but what he did find was that in all cases. The water at the surface of the ocean had relatively high temperatures. Water at the surface of the ocean had relatively high temperature. At the surface, what a job. Surface. What a job. Uh, but he did, uh, what he did find was that in all cases, water at the surface of the ocean, they make use the air, water, had relatively high temperatures even when it was cool. It's cool after, at greater depth job, so surface even when it was cool at greater depths. So, this seemed to be a factor in supporting a diverse range of these large predators. However, this wasn't enough on its own, because he also found that the water needed to have enough oxygen in it. Enough so, oxygen in it, again, sufficient, again, enough synonym, oxygen, but a job, oxygen in it. He's got thumbs. And this wasn't enough for its own because he also found the water needed to have enough oxygen, sufficient nitrogen in it. Well, job. These two factors seemed necessary to support the high metabolic rate of these large fish. A couple of years later, in 2007, a researcher called Lisa Balance, who was working in California, also started looking for ocean hotspots, but not for fish. What she was interested in was marine mammals, things like sea Marine mammals, did it? Stimuls uçular, lekapetayşiler, mammals, marine mammals. What she was interested in was marine mammals, things like seals, job, mammals. Seals. And she found three places in the oceans which were hotspots, and what these had in common was that these hotspots were all located at boundaries between ocean currents. And this seems to be the sort of place that has lots of the plankton that some of these species feed on. So now people who want to protect the species that are endangered need to get as much information as possible. For example, there's an international project called the Census of Marine Life. They've been surveying oceans all over the world, including the Arctic. One thing they found there, which stunned other researchers, was that there were large numbers of species which live below the ice, sometimes under a layer up to... Below the ice to the job. Ice. One uh, thing they found that there which found there which stunned other researchers was there was large numbers of species live below ice below the ice they make a moose or today she began that 20 meters thick some of these species had never been seen before they've even found species of octopus living in these conditions and other scientists working on the same project but researching very different habitats on the ocean floor have found large numbers of species congregating around volcanoes, attracted to them by the warmth and nutrients there. However, biologists still don't... Stop. I'm going to talk about the first time, for example, Census of Marine Life, Mana bu qismda asosan global marine species assessment-da juda ham katta pauza bo'ldi, chunki ana shunaqa e'tibor berish kerak, sabqatlarniga e'tibor berish kerak-da, ish o'sha orqali masalan 36 dan tasarruqli 36 dan o'tkazib olish, 37 ni bilmayman, bilmaysiz, endi qachon o'tishini o'tmasligini. O'sha shunaqa vaziyatda mana global marine species assessment dedi, "Voy, endi 37 ga kelib qolar ekan" degan xulosa kelgan holda, sizlar o'zingizni get back to track qolasizlar-da, o'sha uchun ham bu sizlarga osonroq bo'ladi. No, how serious the threat to their survival is for each individual species. 
So a body called the Global Marine Species Assessment is now creating a list of endangered species on land so they consider things like the size of the population, how many members of one species there are in a particular place, and then they look at their distribution in geographical terms. Although this is quite difficult when you're looking at fish because they're so mobile. And then thirdly, they calculate the rate at which the decline of the species is happening. Rate at which the decline of the species is happening. It's a decline. Thirdly, they calculate the thirdly bar, which will certainly calculate the rate at which the decline of species is happening. So far, only 1,500 species have been assessed, but they want to increase this figure to 20,000. For each one they assess, they use the data they collect on that species to produce a map showing its distribution. Ah, map showing its distribution. Kısası cevaba map name etkendim boyuna. Etibar verken bu seyirle. Kısası bu ile endi reading'de okuyup okuyamız, listening'de okuyup işitkenmiz. Endi bu ile anoda şablonda mesela distribution map distribution bu ile map distribution bu ile de distribution process bu ile de mesela. Peki map bu ile de. For each one they assess, they use the data they collect on species to produce a map showing its distribution. Cevabı map bu ile de. 39 kere kutamız. Ultimately, they will be able to use these to figure out not only where most species are located, but also where they are most threatened. So, finally, what can be done to retain the diversity of species in the world's oceans? Firstly, we need to set up more reserves in our oceans, places where marine species are protected. We have some, but not enough. In addition, to preserve species such as leatherback turtles, which live out in the high seas, but have their nesting sites on the American coast, we need to create corridors for migration. So they... What's about the corridors for migration? Job migration is all done. Chunder gandam. Nema galigine os mi maaza? Corridors for migration. The next job bold migration. Bold it tamam. Uh, we need to create corridors for migration. Bu job migration olduğunu hem çöntürü bekledim. Ne demek migration bu şimdi? Çünkü kitapda pasajı da okuyayım ben. Can get from one area to another safely. As well as this, action needs to be taken to lower the levels of fishing quotas to prevent overfishing of endangered species. And finally, there's the problem of bycatch. This refers to the catching of unwanted fish by fishing boats. They're returned to the sea, but they're often dead or dying. If these commercial fishing boats used equipment which was more selective so that only the fish wanted for consumption were caught, the fish wanted for consumption. What's the main job? Purpose of consumption, want for consumption. Consumption. What do you mean, Kendam? Then we just said, "No, we just said, 'Tahmin Kardam, Tahar Tahar Shuta.'" Okşkere, çünkşkere, tamam. Başka anan yok, yolu yok. Hop, so that the only the fish wanted for consumption were caught. Değil mi? Bu okusun da uzun kurgen değil de fakat yine cevap consumption buldu. Uh, şu plan, bugün dersin sözünü kaç ki dedi. Eğer soğulları imbola diyemiz, soğulları kaldırışlı mümkün koment edin. Lekin asosan, uh, skriplerine oku asıyla, e, uh, masadan cevaplarını underline kıldık. Uh, circle kıldık ya, onu uh, supportive kısımlarına underline kıldık, hareket kıldık. Çündürüşke fakat yine skriplerden oku alıp, düşünüp, tercüme alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cevabı alıp, cev